Just because I think pride events should be adult only, and that variants and derivatives of gender theory shouldn't be taught in public school classrooms. And let me interject real quick to say that I do think it's important that the subject of sexuality does eventually get talked about. Maybe not in elementary school, but eventually the subject of sexuality does need to get talked about. It doesn't mean that I think that the teachers who teach about a gender theory and all of its variants, or its derivatives and such, um, it doesn't mean I think they're groomers. It doesn't mean that I think that the teachers who do teach about sexuality in the elementary schools are groomers either. They're just trying to, to, they're trying to do their job, but it doesn't mean they're trying to groom your children. I mean, something can be considered by society to be inappropriate to teach to young children without it meaning that someone is wanting to prepare your children to be molested. Because that's what the word grooming has the connotations of right now. That it's all sexual grooming. People should label it correctly, but it just seems people are wanting to make it easier to demonize a whole bunch of people by just shortening it to grooming. Besides giving your dog a haircut, the word grooming, normally, you know, before it got kind of changed to always mean sexual grooming, it used to mean the practice of preparing or training someone for a particular activity. It's extra generic, and if we were to use that definition, then every teacher throughout history would be a groomer. But that's not how people are using it. A lot of this has been to demonize public schools in general. You know, there's an ulterior motive to, to talking about this stuff this way. A lot of it is for a bigger plan to first allow for school vouchers, with the eventual goal of making public schools obsolete because, you know, not enough funding would go to them, they'd eventually close down and then they then the religious people would be all happy that they, they can, you know, religiously indoctrinate their kids. But I can understand why they might want to do that in contrast to some of the things that are taught in public schools by some of these teachers. And there are activist teachers out there. But a lot of these people's claims of grooming are completely disingenuous. They just want to see the end of public schools. When parents talk about these subjects to children, are they grooming them? Are they sexualizing the children by default, based on a principle? You know, based on how you use the word grooming or sexual grooming? Does, does a parent talking to their children about that match up? Why is it suddenly completely different if it's a teacher doing it? I mean, quite frankly, there are a lot of seemingly IQ-challenged, often religious parents who seem to feel that kids shouldn't learn about these things at all. Not by teachers, not by friends, not by the parents. That they simply shouldn't learn about any of these things until after they're 18. It's bizarre. Anyway, I think we can criticize the curriculum that's being used in public schools without making it sound like the teachers are, are groomers. You know, without assuming horrible motives of the teachers. Having said that, as, as I said, I hinted at earlier in the video, there are unfortunately far too many activist teachers out there. There's more than we'd like to believe. And there's video evidence of this. And I wish there was a reasonable way to stop teachers from being activists in the classroom. But even those activists I wouldn't call groomers. I'd just call them activists. Just saying.